You were called pretty early on in the BP spill. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, before the blowout. What was surprising, particularly to a lot of outsiders, myself especially, was how long it took to cap that well. I mm. mean, I think everyone was surprised by that. That's normal. Um, we've had these kinds of uh, catastrophic blowouts before. The uh, Baymar Shant blowout uh, took three months to bring under control. I guess offshore <laughs> drilling isn't what it used to be. Correct. Uh, much more sophisticated, much more difficult, and consequently, that's part of the explanation for the time. Well, can you describe it to me, what, what, what we're dealing with at those depths? Because it's really very deep now. It's not what it was 40 <laughs> years ago. Correct. Um, today, uh, we're working more than a mile below the sea surface. Um, it's deadly dark there. Uh, the pressures are thousands of pounds per square inch, an elephant on a square inch. Um, then we go below the sea uh, floor another mile, perhaps two miles. So um, that um, element of distance, darkness, depth, uh, extremely high pressures makes us an extremely hazardous environment. A human can't survive down there, can we? No. Well, we can survive if we're protected in vehicles that can protect us from those pressures. Uh, also, the temperatures, surprising. Uh, the temperature close to the seafloor, even in the Gulf of Mexico, where it's warm, uh, is close to freezing. So even though the surface of the water could be like warm bath water uh, down at the seafloor, close to freezing. And how hot is the gas and so on coming out? Uh, it can be 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so hot gas, um, coal, seafloor, water, that uh, develops something known as methane hydrates. It's gas in ice form. Back to what happened in the Gulf and the, the implications, the outcomes were massive. What is the upshot of all this worldwide? I mean, what is it going to mean for the price of oil? Well, I think I, it has to mean the future cost of oil is going to increase, which means that vital resource that we have um, in the earth right now is going to become more and more valuable because it's going to cost more and more to extract it, to refine it, uh, to get it to market. Um, so it means the cost is going to go up. We know how thirsty the world is for oil. We are reaching some serious limitations on its production. If there's a message you'd like to send out to everybody, what is it? Well, I think the message is um, this is a precious uh, non-renewable resource. Uh, one, we need to conserve it. Two, use it uh, in recognition of how precious it is, and then find other resources uh, to help supplant the energy drives that we have. If we can combine those three things, and I know we can, uh, then it's going to be okay.